We're doing it live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the uh, Great Night pre-show. I'm here. Darren Kitchen's here. We're here together. And uh, Brian Brushwood will be joining us uh, as we are. Uh, we're, 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 we're doing we're doing our best. We're doing our best. Uh, this is going to be different than we normally than we normally do it. But uh, uh, Mr. Darren Kitchen, how you doing? Yeah, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited to see Brian live via satellite. But uh, otherwise, we're we're not great night. I know we're, we're like crossing the studio. Hey, crossover episode. We're, we're, we're crossing so many streams here. You we're know, crossing. I'm, we're crossing the most amount of streams. It's like an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer that was actually an episode of Angel. But they like needed to fill a gap, yeah, because the the budgeting and they exactly. had a sponsor deal. But and it was actually a backdoor pilot for Dollhouse. That's what it was, and they yeah. just had it on the shelf, and they were like, "Whatever, Fuck we'll it. just do this. Let's just roll with you it." You know, like just let Josh do whatever he wants. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, yeah, we're keeping it loose. We're keeping it. Uh, we're keeping it fresh. We're keeping it funky, positive. Uh, it's gonna be a, a an interesting show. Because uh, we're using a lot of new tech, which is always I great. I, yeah. <laughs> Cross your fingers. I mean, I'm seeing chat popping off, so you know something's happening, right? So th that's that's all that really matters. Yeah. yeah. And it's not popping up to the point where you know something's wrong. See, there's that equilibrium yeah. in chat pop off as a creator where you just know like, all right, all right, people are excited, but it's not like, the same like word over and over and over a thousand times. Audio, audio. Uh, it's always exactly. Audio. Yeah. Can't hear you. Can't hear. Can't hear. LOL. LOL. I yeah. can't believe they can't hear. They can't hear. Yeah, they yeah. can't hear. Yeah. Should we try the RCA cables or do yeah. you think it's the Windows Media Player? Uh, this could indeed be a train wreck. This is uh, uh, w without a doubt. There is there is high train wreck potential that lies ahead. However, right now everything's working. Um, have you fucked around with Restream? Mm. Hmm. After after trying it for the first time, I will never go back to anything else. Wait, then restream or Riverside? Oh, I I, I haven't really messed around with Riverside. With Riverside no, I'm, 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 I'm just. You got to understand, I'm old podcast. When I say go go back to anything else, I'm talking about like the OG, the like RTMP server yeah. in the cloud yeah. with some custom binaries pipe into some python thing with some front end and you're like shooting it over with like a elemental you know one u rack server thing so uh, that's what i'm like i was like too and then i realized they do it all on a website now yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're like you know everything you just said yeah exactly they do it on a website now right 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 so so what like I, before it was like you had to make sure that nine different gigantic machines all were like working correctly and you hadn't accidentally kicked the plug yeah. now it's a website well it's the equivalent of you needed first you start with a good receiver you really want like a really good receiver something like 350 watt rms and then you put in a nice little tuner, right? Because every now and then you're gonna want to tune in something, and then get get your CD deck, your 25 disc changer with the carousel, yeah, right, right. Dual tape. We're never gonna use it, but it looks cool. We're at yep. this point. We're trying to fill the rack. Yeah, we want to beef it up and make it look a little cooler. Mm -hmm. And then, hey, whatever else you got, laser disc. You know, a top end. I love that the Topsies is always a Technics yep. because don't. Don't, don't bring that rolling don't crap. Bring that rolling crap. A Technics and a Diamond Tip, obviously. I mean, come on. For, for the 33s yeah. and the, uh, uh, what were the other ones? The what? 33s and. Uh, the 33s and the Dirty Deeds. Wait, what? No. What I are, I'm just fucking riffing. Oh, I love that. I love I'm that. Sorry. I love that. Yeah. I was trying to figure out a a, 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 a D and D riff. Shit. Yeah, no, I asked, oh. I asked ChatGPT yesterday for a, for a, what what's like a, a colloquial name for a beer that starts with D? Uh huh. I didn't get anything good. Oh, darts. Drafts. Darts are oh, drafts make sense. Drafts make sense. Darts are cigarettes. Uh, people here say, in, in, in this country or or like because because in the UK I, it's probably like a cigarette here is like a beer there and then like a beer well, no. and then like a cigarette a there specific, is a, a specific term for cigarettes. 
Oh, clearly, clearly, yeah. that's not what I'm fishing for. But yes, no. that's they they've got they you got don't want to smoke for... a fag. <laughs> no, in well, I mean, in England, yeah, you do. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, anywhere you're I'd allowed. One. We're I'd, not here. I bum, bum one. a fag. Yeah, and then you probably pull that out of your fanny pack. Yeah, which it, is totally which different is there. totally different. Totally different. So we've already established the uh, the go tos. We're getting off to a great start. This is great. No, but this but is... but but as you were saying, back in the day, you would have to assemble all of the things and get the RCA cables all lined up. Uh huh. But but or you could go to Kmart and buy a boombox, and it was all integrated. You know. Uh, so here so, we go. So this is the boombox. This is of the boombox of the internet stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you have. Yeah, oh, I love that. You have chat there. Mm -hmm. And actually, we can chat just... inception. I love that. Yeah, we can just go full chat screen on that. Oh, now I can actually read it. Yeah. Lung darts. Oh, you know what? We were talking about blowing long. butts. So, all right. So I said blowing butts uh, uh, and everybody made fun of me Wait, because what? butts, I have used the term butts, butts for cigarettes. Butts. Yeah. Right. Like, well, that's the butt of a cigarette, right? That's like, yeah, but, it, but it's a colloquial term for cigarettes. Yeah. But you don't blow a cigarette. You suck a cigarette. Well, well, all right. We weren't going to get all right, into sorry, you take a drag. Physics. Yeah. Physics. Yeah, physics. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, sure. But, but if you're colloquially saying like, I'm going to go blow a dart or something like that. Okay. Right? Okay. But then you can say blow a butt. And so I said blow a butt and Bryce and Brian like fucking <laughs> mercilessly roasted me because they had never heard the phrase blowing a butt. Or, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I like, you know, burning one down or, um, were you ever a smoker? I was actually you back at, ah, oh, I, I hate how, I hate how quickly I admitted that, but yes. Yeah. I grew up what in Virginia. What was your, oh, well, Philip that's, Morris territory, yeah. you know? And so what, what was my, what? where did, yeah. What was your brand? Uh, kids stay away from menthols. Damn. Them, them, a damn. Dick, damn. You were, I'm a, yeah. you had cred. Hey, um, I mean, the, were I, you invited to the cookout? I didn't smoke in menthols. I didn't smoke P funks <laughs> if that's what you're asking. Did you have a pass? A hood pass? <laughs> <laughs> I might have actually. You, you, looking back, you looking picking back, up picking up fucking Newports. Rat. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I my buddy, oh God bless him, uh uh did. No, I I, I don't know, Marlboro menthol lights, you know, which was kind of like So you weren't on you weren't on um because it was Marlboro. You, were, you, were, you weren't on you went oh yes, yeah, so you weren't on Newports. No, I wasn't on Newports. I was I was in like it was basically like Camel or Marlboro was your choice. Were, were contemporary women of your age into smoking Virginia Slims, or was that uh, exclusively That's, you women above you us? You read my mind. I was literally about to describe to you how I was like manly and then it was like oh feminine uh with the like like marlboro menthol yeah light <laughs> it's like like <laughs> and a pack of virginia slims for later yeah yeah uh did you know were like girls in your high school smoking virginia slims they were well i mean we all started smoking cloves because we couldn't buy real it cigarettes. was the 90s it was the 90s and yeah. buffy the vampire slayer was on tv yeah yeah cloves were in they really were. They were. Um, but also, wasn't that an '80s goth thing that just like kept living on? Yeah, but so is black, or, black fingernail polish, yeah. and also that has continued to this day. So that has staying power more so than nicotine. But I feel like goths have been worked into the general culture. How do you Virginia Slim a uh, or that? Uh, what were they called again? Virginia Slim. Yeah. yeah. Virginia, how yeah. do you Virginia Slim uh, an e cig? How do you differentiate in the market when your whole thing was a skinny cigarette? It was like the the well, ratio make a tiny the little... ratio of tobacco to rolling paper was like one to one. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like those a uh, uh, wides camel wides where you're like, you yeah, know? those are kind of like cigars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the idea that you weren't smoking very long because it would burn really fast? I mean, I didn't do it myself because yeah. it was like you said, it was kind of a chick cigarette. It was like yeah. a, a soccer mom cigarette. I mean, right? it was like marketed, like it was oh, a lady cigarette for sure. Yeah, maybe because it was like extra long. It was almost like the modern for that era equivalent of like Corella Deville's like what are those things called? The little plastic like I don't know. I want extra cancer. I'll put the cigarette. What at, is that called? The little straw. The straw. Yeah. The big plastic. I would assume it's plastic. Maybe it's wooden. The big, big straw you would smoke out of, because that was that's classy. That's you need like big white gloves that go to your. Oh no, that's like aristocrat that. shit. Yeah, no, that's 
I still think it's you know I'm I'm watching a, a pretty good one uh, with E right now. The um, it's called Shrade, and okay. it's it's got two of my favorites. Uh -huh. um, one of my biggest male influences of the time. Yep, Cary Grant. Yep, and a the legend Audrey Hepburn. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and I feel like she, kitchen classic movies. Kitchen classic. Hey, hey, you know, uh, move over AMC. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well that was the thing growing up was like yeah. i was allowed to stay up watch whatever you know i could stay up as long as i wanted under two conditions yeah one i would have to fix another gnt so i got good at that and yep. two i couldn't change the channel and it was going to be on amc and it was gonna be Cary grant or audrey, audrey hepburn or, or you yeah. know jimmy yeah. stewart or like all, all, all Humphrey the bogart yeah the or, stars yeah. of the yesteryear stars. yeah yeah, yeah. They don't make them like they used to, but uh, they make them a lot less sexist, as it turns out. I go back and yeah. I watch these and I'm like, damn, it's just. It was a different time. It's egregious. What is. All right. Give me sexist and misogynistic Hall of Fame moments that you, you have noticed. There's, I would say the one thing that doesn't translate at all and really isn't even all that like funny, because there are elements of misogyny and sexism that now you can look back and ironically say. Yeah. Two Virginia Slims, we've come a long way, baby. But True. like some of like the the violence against women. Oh, yeah. Like, see, by, like oh. in those movies, a hero of a movie could slap a woman in the face and everyone would be like, Yeah, she was being crazy. Like it wouldn't even be the villain. Like yeah. the hero could slap the his love interest right in the face because she was being hysterical and everyone would be like ah, well you know sometimes you gotta sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you gotta control crazy. them with a, with a with an open hand uh that 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 one that those are the most frustrating because like i don't know i know it's sexist but like the like the the talk the talk of a hey tots you know my uh i don't know like Gams and pipes and 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 this broads, you know, got you know gams for days. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what it is where I'm like fascinated with the talk of it all. But you're right, the 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 that's not even shit. no because that's just funny. That's just funny. That is yeah. Because I feel right, like what do you like better an uh, 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 anachronistic term for women's legs, gams or mm. stems? Oh God, gams, stems, stems. Yeah. Stem. Broad's got a set of stems that'll go on. Nope. Uh, like, nope. Got got a set of stems like the Sears Tower. Uh, the, I, I feel like I'm like talking about like st like those pelican or not pelicans. Those little the little guys you see on the beach where uh, <laughs> the uh, ibises. Yeah, you know, no, no, where like the tide goes out. Yeah, and then they like run and they get the thing and then the tide comes in. And they're like ah. Yeah. Well, but game sounds like something you'd have for Thanksgiving. Which, when we're talking about ladies' legs, hey, extra dressing ain't wrong. Another, <laughs> let me get seconds. Like, well, you know, That's I'm just the saying, guy like, the, the talk have too the many talk have too many games, and grandma's yeah. gonna fall asleep in front of the TV. They they really should have had more for men. All all men had was like what like garter belts for their socks. How yeah, do feel, how do you feel about that? Have you ever worn a, a sock? garter belt i like, haven't got a pair of argyles that kind of like don't they can't keep keep up you know i so rarely I, it was only when i uh uh was like a church goer in my youth that i would ever really wear dress socks mm. and then i went through a phase in my 20s yeah where i only wanted to wear dress socks but not with dress shoes i've oh. never liked Wait, dress what? shoes I wanted to wear dress socks what with about, sneakers. Specifically, what about dress socks was alluring to you? They're is it fucking is it the silky. thinness? Is oh, it no, the, they just the feel texture? Good. They feel good on your feet. Yeah, they do. Now, no, they don't what, wear mm, well. They don't. What color? Oh, black. Black. Yeah. No, yeah. classic black. How do you... Do you By the did way, it didn't go well. It was part of a series of very, very poor decisions I made in my 20s, up to and including. I went through about a year's worth of I'm going to wear Velcro shoes. And then a, a woman told me, you look mentally handy. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like in a, in a rain man kind of cool way no, or a, no, in, in a, in a, like, you used to be able to say a word that started with an R and ended with a tarted <laughs> and, uh, uh, uh yeah, 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 yeah. Not cool. That's not cool. Not cool. Uh, okay. Well, tell me this. Would you mate them? Would you would you bring them together in holy matrimony when they came out of the dryer? 
these two phases were a couple years apart. This is the uh, this is but both in 20s. my head. This is in your twenties yeah, or your teens? Twenties, twenties, twenties. Okay, okay. No, so this is like in that moment where you have enough money, and you like where you have money uh, yeah, at all. Any. You have any money? Yeah. And Going you're from like, zero to some is kind of amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember getting my like my checks, uh, yeah. uh, my my initial checks, and it's like seven hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god! There's a zero at the end. <laughs> like like I I actually don't know if I can spend this all this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> narrator. He could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, he, but yeah, there's no, but a, that well, was there's that a was, big that was, difference. Like when you're making seven hundred bucks every two weeks as like a teenager or, or early twenty something. I would imagine that your sock potential would be less LL Bean and more Fruit of the Loom. Like we're talking Kmart, big packs, like, oh, how you're like looking through the aisles and you're like, okay, literally what is the most amount of sock per dollar ratio that I can get in this pack of white things that come to whatever my particular height so there was, is. yeah, there was like a period in which I think I was trying to figure out whether or not I was going to be a fashionable man. Oh. And and it was not. And when'd you give up? Oh, pretty much around the time that I thought Velcro shoes were a good idea. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, it was like, no, nah, we're, we're, we're pretty much. Okay. Well, I'm not. No, one, no one's here for the fashion. I respect People are that. here. They're here for the jokes. Yeah. They're yeah. here for the warp. They're here for the empathy. They're here for the personality. No one's. I don't need to wear a cape. Well, that's the other I, thing. I don't is, need. I don't need to come in with parachute pants. Well, well this is why I want to know about the socks, particular, yeah. because I, I can respect the like. I'm not. They're not showing up for the fashion. However, yeah. socks aren't something that are like flashy. I mean, unless you're like wearing capris, you're you're if you're that guy. Yeah. Right. Um. So they're not seeing them, and even then, you're only doing it for the meme socks. Yeah. Uh. So the fact that you were like. Ooh, I'm really into like dress socks with sneakers. Yeah. I want to know more about that because you were clearly like, this isn't a fashion thing. So nobody knows you're wearing them, but no, you. I knew it because I, I liked the way that they felt. And at that point, I was working a desk job in Manhattan. So there was a lot of me sitting on my ass and a lot of me sitting. I was a professional line waiter. I would wait in lines at the department. What? Of I'm buildings. sorry. I'm sorry. Like a dumb waiter or no. A, no, what is a line? Like right, so you were a waiter at a right. restaurant no, no, and there no, no, would be no, no, a, no, no, what no. is a, all right. So you know where, uh, imagine a person standing. I can right. see a person standing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now imagine a person standing behind that person. Is it sexual or is it just like no, a no, regular no, just standing there? Just standing, there. just standing like, yeah. like six feet to, 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 to theoretically to, depending. Yeah. Probably closer. Really, we gotta we gotta like flatten the curve, dude. Well, I mean, oh. at least at this day and age. Okay, this okay, is back okay. in the day. But this is back in the day. Yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. all right, all right. So all you gotta, I had to worry about was never forgetting. So you got it. <laughs> Amen. So you got a guy standing behind a guy. Uh, now imagine somebody standing right behind that guy. Are you sure this isn't sexual? No, totally. Okay. It was in Lower Manhattan, but uh, 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 no, not 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 saying. I'm Marks. not knocking it. I'm not just saying. Marks. All right. All right. But uh, uh, you got three people, so then another in a row. one, and then another one, and then another one. That's what oh, we so call, it's like a human centipede. That's what we call. That's what we call colloquially a line. A cue. Sure, there we go. Oh, yeah, a cue. Well, and, yeah. and then one of them we could be having about, a fag in the queue, yeah. and then there you go. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> no, we absolutely don't. Uh, so, so I, you got paid, yes, to stand to be one of those guys in the sandwich of guys. And girls. And girls. And girls. To, to camp guys. out and get Les Mis tickets? No. Uh, I was working for my cousin at what was known as an architectural expedition firm. Mm -hmm. So essentially, because of the New York City, the Byzantine New York City Department of Buildings, uh, getting approved for building anything was a real pain in the ass. And so what we did uh or what would what people would hire us for is that my cousin the architect would look over your plans know what the department of buildings normally flagged mm -hmm. would go back and forth with you the builder to get all that sorted out and then me and my cousin would go wait in the lines of the department of buildings and hand over the plans they would either approve them, stamp, stamp, they stamp, just, stamp. They stamp. didn't have like an online thing. No online oh thing. Oh my god! So this was an entire job. Holy crap! Me. And, and so, by the way, so would by you, the way, would you it was why the, I got into podcasts? Would you bring the papers 
Yes. Or, okay, okay, so they wouldn't do a swapsies with you at the last minute when they were about no. to get to the clerk. No. Whoa. I would either go to the Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx. I never went to Staten Island. Uh, Queens uh, uh, Department of Buildings. And I would wait in line. Yeah. And then I would hand over a thing. How long would you be waiting? Never know. Sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes two hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You're a professional queuer. Effectively. Okay. Two I things. I'm, I'm, I'm opening. Hair, I, was, I was listening to the Ricky Gervais podcast. The this Harry is, Shearer yep, podcast. Yep, yep, yep. This is exactly yeah. so, so. Thank you. And I had to download Here. that shit on on to on an the, iPod? onto the iPod through through iTunes Firewire baby 802. Dot, no sorry i triple e 1394 whoa yeah where was that in my head i literally didn't know those numbers until i started saying them yeah 13 man that had direct uh, memory access you know that right like you could have actually flipped bits and ramp it's hacker stuff but hacker like shit. but yeah, yeah yeah firewire dma that was that was good shit uh Two tabs are open, by the way. I just want to make sure that we're let's not close, forgetting. Let's, yeah, let, no, let's, no, no, let's, no, no. Let, let's go through. Queuing yeah. got you into podcasts. Indeed. But was also related to your fancy socks. And, yes. I, and I don't want to like miss yeah. the fancy boy sock. Fancy uh, boy sock era. Era. Yeah. But uh, I kind of feel like you just opened like a, a big gaping like so you want to know now, now I'm actually I'm actually I'm, I'm, more I'm, interested I'm putting in myself now. back in my my mind when that was happening. Yeah. That's also, I'm like in in sketch comedy. I'm in my early twenties. There's an element of eccentricity that is like uh uh not not just tolerated but yeah. semi demanded in the early aughts. Okay, you're in comedy in the early aughts, so it's like we're getting out of alt comedy where you wanted to look very normal, and now it's like oh I don't oh, know maybe I don't know maybe you'll a little have, weird maybe. be a, be a carrot top. Or whatever. Well, not carrot top. You didn't want to be like a character, but maybe you wanted to be like, oh no, I really do shave one eyebrow. Okay. That's like a cool thing. Because also in New York City, everybody's got to stick out a little bit because yeah. there's eight million people. Too, too many. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Love so I don't know. The socks were just a part of that milieu. Wait, but but, but the sock. Okay. Nobody knew you were wearing sexy socks, but you. Yeah and you were wearing them for comfort just comfort well comfort in a very specific way because mm -hmm. i also realized very quickly that dress socks are not great to sweat it they don't wick they one, don't one they are very thin yes you know like on the scale of like you know you've got your like hiking socks that are like wool and thick and meant to like absorb moisture You've got dress socks where it's like if you can get through this wedding reception yeah. without it being like, you know, without getting blisters, you're going to be golden. And yeah. if anything, you're probably wearing a couple of, you know, Band-Aid like uh, guys on, on your heel regardless. By the way, I'm going to update everybody uh, 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 who uh, I'm going to interrupt this. Uh, uh, Justin Socks in his early 20s conversation <laughs> for a very brief <laughs> programming update uh, for people who are just tuning in. Uh, Darren and I are keeping uh, uh, the baby afloat here for uh, you know up up to the top of the hour because uh, our our dear hero Brian Brushwood is currently in Music City, no. Nashville, Tennessee. He uh, is going to be calling in. We got a bunch a bunch of new tech that we are going to see whether or not it will work, but. Uh, that's the reason why we are on different mics. We're in a different studio. We're not in our main studio out in Brian's compound. We are here in my house. So uh, that's why everything is happening. We are streaming on both the Great Night Twitch and my Twitch. So if you're seeing this on my Twitch and you're expecting me to talk about the Michigan primary, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to be talking about the Michigan primary. I'm not watching the Michigan primary, but I'm sure if you throw it in the chat, I'll probably uh, get, a, get a thing. But I'm not going to be giving live commentary on it because I'm doing this show and uh, uh, eventually Brian will call in at some point uh, around the eight o'clock hour. But this is likely the show. The show that will go out will likely be an amalgamation of myself, Darren Kitchen and Brian Brushwood. So there Amen. we go. Yeah. And in the meantime, I'm I am here for it. I'm so happy to be uh, a lifeline to the show as a as a big 
fan and friend of the show for a long time. Yes. You know, uh, as, as uh, the man since, since since that cat was since, enjoying that breeze and before. Amen. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm happy to bring I'm happy to be the great night dinghy, you know? Yes. No, you have been uh, a loyal, uh, uh, a loyal part of our our galaxy of stars for go. oh so many years. Did I tell you I got a dinghy? You did. All right. You did. You uh, did. You excited about that. Is it? Do we want to talk about your? Do no, we, wanna, no, we, we don't, don't have to. We don't have to talk about my dinghy on the program. That just you did go to Florida and got a dinghy. I, I went to Florida and I got a, a uh, <clears throat> sailboat, you know. You got a sailboat. Yeah, sailing. Dinghy. How really? How real are we getting about the sailboat? We're not getting very. We're real. not getting. No, very we're real. we're we're getting. We're keeping surface level real. Sur I'm surface I'm, level. I'm getting more and more. We're not getting really day. real. Yeah, we're, we're getting you, surface okay, level. Okay, so real. get this. Get yeah. this. All right. Technically, within Texas, you do. Okay, so I'm having problems registering this uh, vessel mm -hmm. because uh, my paperwork is not in order. The guy that hoodwinked me slash sold it to me. We're getting a little realer. A little realer. <laughs> without a sea trial. Uh, We're getting a little realer. <laughs> uh, di didn't tell me the keel doesn't drop. A little realer. Um, mm -hmm. he, he didn't I sign. I love the fact that there's like two sailors who listen to this show who just yeah. went, for real? real? <laughs> I know, I know. And everyone else is like, I have no idea what the yeah, fuck yeah. any of that means. You know, the, 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 the mainsail jib ding dong. <laughs> in, in any event, uh, uh, I don't have a signature on the thing. And then even if I did, it's too it's old, old because it doesn't have the whole number. And then the, 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 in Texas, it's the game warden who literally needs to inspect your vessel. And the, the, so it's like, there's it's a this, lot, there's a lot going on for not a lot of gain and not of a lot of gain. You, and so what I've what been trying got. to figure out is you ever, you ever like, you ever do that thing where you're like, I want, I want this but it's more of an amorphous this. I want something in this general region. And most people go for the bullseye. Yeah. And the bullseye is where all the rules are. Yeah. The bullseye is where there's the like, you know, homeowners association, the property owners association, yeah. the like, you know, the, the, the state and the county and the, everybody else has regulations over the thing, but yeah. you could just get ever so slightly. One degree out. You're like, I'm still within the realm of what I want. But just not in that hotbed of nimbyism, sure. right? To to use a Heaton reference. Sure. And so what I'm trying to do is with this boat. With be, this boat. I want to have my cake and eat it too, which is I want to go sail with it, mm -hmm. but I don't want to have to register it. Now, there's an exemption, several, for itty bitty boats. And this thing happens to be an itty bitty boat. Um and so it could technically forego registration because of its size and all that jazz. However, there's this one esoteric element that precludes me from getting it uh, properly registered, which is if I, if I want to put an outboard on it or uh, literally a trolling motor. So that's okay. I mean, I guess I can row it on and off the dock, not the end of the world. But that got me really thinking, like, what are the esoteric ways that I can find a way to, like, have a motorized propulsion of this vessel without needing to register with the great state of Texas, as it is under 14 feet and otherwise doesn't need registration. So here's what I've come up with. Yeah. Electromagneto uh, hydropropulsion, otherwise known as... The Caterpillar Drive. The Caterpillar Drive. You ever seen Hunt for Red October? No. Oh, no, I have. No, I have seen. Yes, I have. Yeah. I have seen yeah, Hunt yeah. for Red October. It is. The concept is instead of putting an outboard on the back where suddenly I got to register this thing. Yeah. I build a device that turns magnetism and electricity, similar to electrolysis, into forward momentum and propulsion in a solid state mechanism that is not a motor but otherwise puts electricity into a a element that creates thrust it's the kind of stuff that is the realm of the cia the realm of like hybrid stealth nuclear powered submarines yeah but i put it on a 1974 west white potter 14 foot vessel 
don't know what the fuck you just said, man, but you're special. <laughs> you touched the brother heart. <laughs> cake eat it i love it <laughs> yes keep it no i'm in i'm in uh, uh what's the uh, update we have an update uh-oh new we hampshire are, we are going to get no yeah michigan? no no we know we could do michigan. Michigan. Michigan we could do we could do live we could do live are you michigan giving me updates. an update i want to know about michigan is she gonna drop out i mean what's happening no that's Ever? not gonna that's not gonna happen Never. until my birthday she's gonna drop out for my birthday no, on super tuesday uh uh no michigan the only question Super is whether birthday. or not she gets the closer she is to 40 yeah yeah to 20 that's the interesting thing on the republican side on the on the democratic side it's uh whether or not the uncommitted is closer to 25 or 30 than 10 oh that's it for all of the politics no, wait, we're not gonna what? do any other politics I, but now. i loved it i'm no, here for it no no um they loved it Did you unfortunately not i have just been uh been informed Socrates that we will not no uh uh there are technical problems that oh. will prevent mm. our dear friend brian brushwood from making a substantial uh, appearance on the show he'll be back for our uh our, our patreon episode on thursday however wow if we all cross our fingers real tight and say I do believe in Brian's at the same time, then maybe we will get a call in cameo. I, I can't co I can't confirm. I do believe I can't confirm. I'd like to go home at some But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, well, in that case, did everybody just sign up for an hour of sock talk? Sock talk. No, this is this is us. This is this is this is the show now. Can this we come is, back to it? We can go back to sock talk. Yeah. Okay, okay. But let me just finish by saying essentially. They, the the legislature came up with this thing where they're like, you're going to have to give us money if you want to do the normal thing to make a boat move without sales. To which that, I said, I'm going to do the not normal thing of putting shit tons of electricity into a I'm going giant... to spend infinitely more <laughs> money than I would on this license just yeah. so I can not get this fairly nominally priced license. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we go. Oh, shit. I literally hung up on him. <laughs> here we go. No, no, no. Too many buttons. I fucked it up. I'm calling you while you're calling me, and it's call waiting. Click over. Yo. <laughs> uh, Mr. Brian Brushwood, uh, uh, where are you? I'm in the middle of downtown Nashville, and I'm beginning to think that the better we get at our jobs, the more interesting things are going to get. Um, like, unfortunately, like I'm fucking up our show because I'm talking to a bunch of radio people, from Jack FM, uh, where I gave a keynote speech earlier, uh, uh, and and and. I literally am ducking out from like they're they're like what, what kind of steak or shrimp do you want? And I'm like I don't give a fuck. And, and then off I went. Um, how's this show going? Question mark. <laughs> uh, it's it's great. It's great. We spent most of the time talking about uh, a period in my early twenties where I wore dress socks uh, uh, with Darren. So uh, 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 and and I, I oddly enough, it's been a fun conversation. So uh, uh, we we are we are luckily hitting our stride, but we definitely uh, could not have an episode of Great Night that uh, uh, did not have the lovely dulcet tones of one. Brian Brushwood. So I know you do have to rush back to to where you're going, but uh, uh, can you give yeah. us a little slice of your life in in Nashville so far? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, it, it's uh, you know, as you and I have talked about, I've en I'm entering my career as a keynote speaker and 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 you know whatever uh, fancy pants talker of things, uh, but. It's wild to be in Nashville uh, talking to people in the radio business because, uh, like, I don't know, I, I went into the hotel and uh, uh, laid down, and part of the style guide for the hotel was the stuff they were playing, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Rascal Flats. 
the exact song that they were playing in 2003 that when I was on tour with them. And anyway, I uh, uh, so I'm talking to a bunch of radio people, and I, I gave them the same talk that you've heard me talk about a billion times, you know, the story of tension and stuff. Uh, only it's really weird to have people hear it for the first time and time and be, and be all like, uh, whoa, this is amazing. I'm like, it's really not. It's I'm just describing when you let go of an apple, it falls down to the ground. Um, but at any rate, uh, that's what I'm up to. And I'm really bummed that I can't be there for the show right now. Except you, you for any, I am on the show have, right now. Yeah, you're on the show right now. What the fuck are you talking about? For audio listeners, yeah. it's the same goddamn thing. So, uh, 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 you have you have any good like food? Do you have any, do you, anything ever fun uh, happen on the on the plane or anything like that? Oh my god, they they got this ridiculous fucking crab. Uh, they, they got this crab. Yeah. What kind of yeah. crab? What, what kind of crab yeah. you talking about? You talk you you mentioned that crab with lust in your in your voice. I mean, I kind of had lust for it because it was like uh it was like it made me think of uh, uh ripley in alien yeah uh, like it, it was that kind of crab uh but, <laughs> but it was good would you put butter uh, on it but, or yeah. was it on a was it like did you have to crack it with the with the utensils it was so big god damn it all right you're gonna make me say it uh, Justin, yeah, this fucking crab this fucking is so crab. big. Damn. How wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Darren, how, how big, big is it? it? It's so big <laughs> that all you gotta do is grab it and twist it and it breaks apart in your hand. It's fucking it's good crab. That's crab. A, that's crab that's not just good to the taste, but it does build your male ego. Just to, to dominate a crab leg with your bare hands, Amen. you don't need any of these fucking utensils like these cucks. Like you're 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 doing it Zeus style, baby. And the best part is left well, for you. Mean, uh, uh, it's a little bit like grabbing the arm of a twelve year old and just it's it's that good. Yeah, dude. Should, should that be good? By the way. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I don't know, uh, uh, but since uh, you're the only person on the line with children, uh, we're going to say yes. Uh, uh, I'm looking at my judges. Yep, we're saying mm -hmm. yes. That is a good thing. Okay. Uh, so what have I missed so far? Uh, what did we miss? Uh, I'll let I'll let Darren recap. Darren, what, what have we talked about so far in the show? Justin wears socks. Yeah. And... When he was in his twenties, he wore socks that were fancy. I wore. I went through a fancy sock phase in my twenties, and then, uh, from my perspective, uh, Darren wants to retrofit a, a, a boat he uh, bought uh, under under uh, shady pretenses with uh, Hunt for Red October uh, uh, tech, so he can avoid spending twenty five dollars with the game commission. Okay, uh, uh, Justin, I'm not talking to the audience, and I'm certainly not talking to Darren right now. Okay. But I'm talking only to you. Yes. When you said uh, he bought a boat, yeah. my body physically yeah. deflated yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what is it with Darren and his boats? Well, number one, this is a battle that uh, 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 I have fought. I feel like I'm like I'm like a senator that uh, just voted for a bill he like initially ran on saying he would never go, he would never <laughs> vote for. Because look, nobody has a track record like I have a track record in on planet Earth of warning Darren not to buy a boat. I have been I was true. I was saying it early. I said it consistently, and 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 uh, I was I was resolute in it. However, the Darren that exists today is not the Darren that existed in the past. The Darren that exists today, he's a homeowner. He's got a lot of fucking uh, uh, shit in his life. He is, he is in a stable period for which he, he can add a boat. He can add a dependent, a, 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 a gigantic money-sucking fucking I'm not using this enough monstrosity uh, uh, because he's got something to give. And mm. so... And so now he gets his boat, okay. and, right. and 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 guess whoa, 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 whoa. what? And guess what, Brian? 
It's a gigantic money sucking monstrosity. I believe you. However, uh, have you guys taken a look at that uh, that 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 pebble uh, 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 trailer? Huh? Oh, oh, oh! Yes, that thing is hot. That thing is hot. Yeah. I want it. What are you yes. talking about? So I don't know. I don't know what this is. Let's get it. Take it to Lake Travis. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Oh, it's so good. It's no, so good. I, uh, it's oh, for, for, for imagine. Reasons, for hang reasons. on, hang on, hang on. What have you had? No, no. You want to know what? No, 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 no. You, Brian, are going to explain it to me for for hand reasons. I am holding the phone up and I am not fucking searching for this. <laughs> okay. Because so, you are not in a position to fucking ask hand favors what right if now. An epic <laughs> RV was also a boat. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep talking. Go. Take, to imagine the peanut of the sea. Imagine the coolest sprinter yes, van you could ever see. Okay, the peanut, by the way, is Darren Sprinter Van. Uh, uh, so it, it is an amphibious. It's, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's like, a water chestnut. A, a, a duck boat? Is it like like, like it's, oh, that's a good way to put it. It's, it's like it's, it's, it's a trailer. It's, it's trailer, a, by the way. It's a hipster duck boat. It's a yeah. It's a good way to put it. Is that so, it, Brian? Uh, uh, it's it's totally. Uh, imagine a Tesla power wall was made into a uh, trailer. So okay. Like, uh, 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 g- oh my goodness! If if should you need it, uh, it could power your house. It uh, it also powers itself. It also drives itself and then lands on your uh, uh, I don't know whatever the, the the dick thing is on the back of your car. Uh, the hitch. Uh, the uh, Yep, yep. It does all of that automatically. I'll and, tell you what. I actually uh, just realized now. If you told somebody to suck my hitch, it would actually sound really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. that's a bumper sticker waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 it's great. It's great. It, it it straight up is just a giant battery that is a house that that will drive itself up to your car, hitch itself to your car. And then take you out and then also be climate controlled the entire time. Wait, so it's not a boat? It is. It's an RV that can float. It's a floating RV. I, I, I but didn't see the, the floating ads are part. sexy. I, I, Wait, I Brian doesn't see up. the floating part. You're saying I, it floats? I, I, hit Darren? Wait, doesn't it float? No, not, not as far as I know. Are we sure it doesn't <laughs> float? Let's buy one. I, I, Take it to Lake Travis. Darren, and Darren, what, do need, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What do we need to make this happen? What do we need to make this happen to see if it floats? A couple of empty 55 gallon drums and some lashing. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> will, will, will we still be able to live in the state if we accidentally, and I'm using scare quotes, uh, sink a gigantic battery into the bottom of Lake Travis? <laughs> it's not like that's what we drink. I'm. All I'm saying is that uh, looking at it, they're 109,000 a pop, and of course, I don't have that money. Uh, uh, what I want is a place for my children to feel like they can come back to. Uh, it would be pretty rad if there were three of them there on the property, but uh, I, I, I'm gonna have to earn a lot of money to get there. Have you, have you heard? Yeah, have but you thought do about they a float year? though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm I thinking mean, of something I mean, else, obviously. Okay, so wait, hold on. We are. This is a shocking revelation. <laughs> Darren is just admitting <laughs> that I Brian realized. and Darren, Brian and Darren, who were ganging up on me yeah. about what the pebble was, <laughs> they had two totally different things in mind. Well, first of all, I thought you were talking about an e watch, like a watch with an e ink screen. Yes, and which then, is something that which is something that Brian is uh, often horny about. Yeah, uh, the that's, pebble. Them's hot. Yeah, that's 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 why I have the Vivo Active now uh, from Garmin. Yeah. Regarding the uh, the tiny homes, uh, uh, yurt, yurt all the way. Just yurt it up. Just throw a couple yurts up and yeah, call dog. it a day. Why, why don't you just yurt it? Because yurts aren't real. They're they're. I don't know. Damn, Darren. Darren. Oh my God. Darren, uh, 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 we got a, we got a, we got a real yurt denier, a, a, a real flat yurter here. <laughs> oh, damn, uh, ain't nothing more round than a yurt. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever happened to, whatever happened to yurt seven? 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> didn't didn't Nam Chomsky like live in a yurt? Like I don't hey, know, that's... or did he? Did he? Or did he? Did he? Hey, did he? Chomsky. Have... Fucking he's, Chomsky. He's, he's... Do you have anything Chomsky's that you'd like? A lot of people have been asking. School. A lot of people have been asking Brian for you to directly respond to Noam Chomsky. What do you have to say? Uh, 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 let me just say, why do you stick to neuroscience, you jerk? Mm. Uh, that's my official stinging, statement. Stinging commentary. Mm. Uh, uh, all right. Well, we we will let you uh, uh, get back. Uh, uh, it was it was great hearing your voice, and uh, we will definitely catch up. On the bones this week, patreon.com slash great night. If you want to go ahead on over there, make sure that you get the the first regular version of this podcast that will have existed in, in a week and a half because uh, between the border and South Carolina and this trip for Brian, we have been all over the fucking map. Uh, but uh, uh, any final words here for the audience? Yeah, I, I, uh, one could become a patron uh like like you go to patreon.com slash great night yeah you go to patreon.com slash great night you put in your credit card information you sign up and uh you make sure that you go ahead and download that custom rss feed you put it in the podcatcher of your choice it's a set it and forget it situation you never have to log into the website ever again if you don't want you just get everything that you've paid for forever uh and then you uh, uh, live a happy life. Uh, you're skinnier. You're stronger. You're more virile. You are. Uh, uh, you're in the Olympics. You're. You're at the starting block. You've made uh, everything happen. And just at the very Keep end, going. as you are about, you, you're Keep just. Going. You're just seconds away from the Barbadian uh, competitor. You look back at them and you see that your eyelashes are just ahead of theirs, and you say. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Great no, Night, for say, making say, this I, possible. I'm pretty sure I'm like uh, ha, Barbados, eh? <laughs> so, and then, and then they say, like, uh, what, what does that mean? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just saying Barbados, am I right? Uh, and then they kind of, like, awkwardly hang there. And then all of a sudden I'm running and they're thinking about what, what was I talking about with Barbados? <laughs> Tell you what, exactly. Patreon.com slash great night is all you need to say about that. And uh, 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 right. wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 where are people getting there? Uh, I've heard there's an eclipse happening. I mean, I'm not in the business of bossing around the moon, however, yeah. I am told by the moon's agent that yes, the moon will be making an appearance to cover up the sun. Just in time for April 8th, uh, 2024, during which, down to the second, uh, uh, George Robb will be performing as he did for NSFW. Uh, 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 he'll be performing Dark Side of the Moon. By the way, did you watch that uh, that that end of NSFW thing that Patrick Delahanty did? I've not gotten a chance. No, man. I, I've been I've been uh, uh, burning burning the candle at uh, at, at both ends. I, I really haven't uh, gotten a chance. No, but I, I heard we were talking earlier today. You said you were crying. Uh, yeah. No, uh, well, I mean, first of all, I cry at anything. Like uh, I cry at a Garfield strip. I cry. Uh, I cry when I see a, a that's a, that's no change. lie, man. This motherfucker sees normal two seconds, and all of a sudden it's the waterworks. <laughs> but I will say that uh, if you oh, Odie, Odie, oh, he does hate Mondays. That's so real. <laughs> I will say that that uh, it's, it's, it's worth taking a look at. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. And where uh, and where can much. people go find tickets? I, 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 uh, oh, uh, uh, foundersdayeclipse.com. That's where you want to go. Oh, vanity URL. You'll love to see it. Uh, 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 one last thing, and this does not have to be long, but we're getting reports here from the audience that uh, – we, we, they want to comment from uh, uh, us, and we will start with you on uh, the new reports that Wendy's plans on instituting surge pricing. What? They want to do Uber-style surge pricing. So if 
if there's a bunch of people there, then your 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 burger is going to cost. Or in our case, because we have the same order, the spicy chicken sandwich, right. best six, best best yeah. best sandwich in the fucking game, and it's not close. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, Number six, uh, no mayo substitute chili for the fries. There yeah. we go. I go no tomato too, but you know, look it, to each their order. Uh, what do you think, surge pricing? It depends on one thing, Justin. What's that? How many people go to patreon.com slash great night? Because at some point, I don't give a fuck. I mean, number one, I feel like I feel like this is like this is like you probably the only time that something that was like very, very unpopular you'd be totally for because you are allergic to a line at any time. So, like, you exploiting the idea that you can get a cheaper spicy chicken sandwich by avoiding line, something that you do by mm. DNA? Like, th this feels yeah. like a Brian subsidy. I mean, look, uh, uh, if somebody were to engage in that, uh, they better have a lot of patrons over at patreon.com slash great night. That's the only way that uh, they would be able to get away with that. Uh, all right. Well, uh, 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 we will let you go. Thank you so much for uh, 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 calling in, and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk on Thursday for the exclusive Patreon uh, Bones episode. Uh, I love you, Darren. Bye. Later. There we go. There we go. The one and only Brian Brushwood joining us on the street. The man, the myth, the legend. Wait, well, we're gonna say Beale Street. We yeah. don't know if he was on Beale Street. Let's just say he was. I mean, nobody can could like, be could be in Painter's Alley. You know? I feel like it's not even worth uh, getting into. Have you had a lot of a? Uh, have you done? Have you done a Nashville night? Have you, you know have you what? Had, I, have you had Nashville actually, fun? I I have once when I was young and uh, I didn't know better and I needed the money. I went to a hacker con called Freak Nick. Doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> But if you need ah, to with a pH, of course with a pH, it's a hacker con. That's so funny. Are you familiar with with what they were riffing on? No, what I never got the joke. Freak Nick. What does that even mean? I thought NIC like network interface uh, uh controller. Like I wasn't really sure what they meant. What is oh okay? Hold I feel on. like I'm about to learn a lot of things about life right now. No, it's actually really, really funny. Okay. It's really funny. Uh This con only went on for like four or five years. It was kind of a before the Me Too movement kind of era. Just, sure. to, just to put it in perspective, like this is a this is a 2008 conference. Um, so Freak Nick, yeah, with an F, mm -hmm. was a uh, uh, how to say this politely. Mm. Uh, uh, not, not, not politely, but accurately. It was a gathering yep. of college aged spring break, uh, uh, African-American men and women okay. that descended upon Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Oh, that's a wonderful every place. Year. So that's why it's funny that yeah. a Southern based. Yeah. Nashville, a Southern based hacker con, of course, would do freak Nick, but like a phone freak with a, you're PH. kidding me. Yeah. See, yeah. I was just so too this... naive to know. Uh, uh, are you on the right one? Yeah. So this was, this was, uh, uh, just random freak Nick, but yeah, it was just a gigantic party that just like took over Atlanta. You're kidding me. <laughs> we're just watching 1994 handicap footage of a dude just creeping on this woman's yeah. belly. Uh, but I, I remember Freak Nick um, mm. mostly because when I was in middle school, mm -hmm. uh, we did a tour because my school was a magnet school for journalism for television and print journalism. Uh, we did a tour of CNN and when we went up, oh. it was during freak Nick. Oh, nice. And so imagine a middle school age. Oh, 
Dude. Justin Robert Young. Yeah. And you, who uh, just sees like nothing. Did you did, but fucking fat asses yeah. and dudes who I had only seen th- these kinds of dudes had only existed on television and rap videos. Right, right, right. And now suddenly you're in master control. I'm in I'm in you I'm are in, in the I'm CNN in, uh uh middle school for me has gotta be Oh, you weren't wearing dress shoes or dre- dress socks years by this before. point. Was, years before. before the dress years socks. Years before. Because we're going back to that. But So you're in high school. You're at middle C- school. Middle, middle school. school. Wow, man. Planted young. So you yeah. went to CNN yeah. in middle school. Because the, the way that it worked in Florida was they had these magnet schools, mm-hmm. which would bring yeah. from – middle class or upper class neighborhoods money to underfunded schools because right. the way that schools work are like it positive and negative attraction and therefore their polls would sure. flip eventually and that's but they the, wound up putting these specialized uh uh programs mm-hmm. that would attract uh kids that parents were very much involved in their lives because this was like college preparatory kind sure. of shit they would uh uh they would put those in schools that were not doing great. And so like, <laughs> that's why I went to like, wait, wait, wait. so are, are you saying you went to a not great yes. high school, middle school, middle school, middle, middle school. school. Is this in plantation? Uh, no, I was in Hollywood. Okay. Uh, in Florida. Oh, you were up in Hollywood. I mean, it's Hollywood, Florida. I mean, it's it's not- I mean, no, no, uh, Hollywood, Florida was a very middle class. Oh, it was area. great. It was a middle great. class. Ain't you, ain't, and you know, Jupiter, but you know, whatever. Jupiter's far up the coast. Hey, that's north. Eh. Uh, I think Hollywood's kind of north, but whatever. Hollywood, Florida? Yes, it's in the, Hollywood, it's in Florida the, is like 15 like, minutes from Miami. You went a little too far. You went too far. <laughs> you went too far. You don't know shit. I do. You, you're, you're, you're a Virginian. You're uh, fucking, you're barely a Florida. No, that's us. Uh, not. I, anyway, no, no. So I, 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 I went to Wolf school. Town. Yeah. At Rogers Middle School. Yeah. In t- downtown Fort Lauderdale. Mm. Like this was like in the like city of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, it was a school that was so bad. How bad was it? It got shut down to become a school specifically for pregnant teenagers because it was the cross the street from a hospital. So they would send. No girls way. who got pregnant, teenage girls who got pregnant to that high school. It was renamed Wait, were Rogers you Middle there School to see when were you were you were you going to the school when it was full of Prego girls? Uh w- I was there for the last year it was Rogers. No way. My seventh or uh, eighth grade year, my ninth grade year, it became exclusively for, for, for pregnant teenagers. And I had to go to uh-huh, I shit you not, uh-huh, another magnet school, addicts. So, well, well, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so you're in, I just want to understand the geography of yes. it all. You were in eighth grade. Yes. And your eighth grade year is the year that all of the sixth graders happen to be. No, no, they don't. No, they didn't. They didn't naturally feed naturally. the class. No, no, no. They weren't. They, they just, weren't they just, just like, shut off. They just shut off. They just, like, oh, okay. Normies, everyone else is going somewhere else. Normies need not apply. We're yeah. only accepting teenagers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a vibe. Oh, it's a vibe. And also, it was weird because, like, there was a girl I knew that got pregnant and had a baby in middle school, like, there. So it's like, do you got to be fancy? Like, how, do, <laughs> how does it work where you get sent to a special school? Yeah. Well, I mean, they were just trying to accommodate. And yes. I, I appreciate Florida for doing that. All right. And it was literally because you could walk from the hospital the, from the school and, and i think it was probably from high school it wasn't for middle school okay uh, uh although the girl i knew who got pregnant was definitely in, in middle school uh that, that you could walk from there to the hospital mm. and it was not like an onerous kind of thing i mean i think that's that's great i mean hey work with what you got yeah you know and if i'm playing sim city i'm like well these are my situations i'm yeah. gonna put these two you know zoning uh, things next to each other and then build a little sky bridge you, uh, you don't want them to have across the street that's just kind of weird no yeah sky bridge sky yeah. bridge yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe a gondola i 
we don't have the money for that. <laughs> yeah, we're playing some city here. We got we got a lot of other stuff. Yeah. to deal with. Uh, though our neighbor does want to ex, uh, uh, export toxic waste to us, and they're 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 willing to pay us a good penny for it. So I'm I'm all for it. You so know? then I went to attics. Attics. It was at the high school, middle school. That was my. I, so I you went for one year. transferred. Yeah, you transferred mid. No, the middle program school. transferred. Be, oh, because the, the journalism, thing. the magnet school. Yeah. was in Rogers. Yeah, because it was trying to bring people from uh higher, from richer neighborhoods I get it, in I there. Get it. So that's where they had the anode and the cathode, but then they switched it over, and then all the electrons just decided boom. that they were going to boom. And you were like, "Oh, I'm, I'm attracted to this." But it was Crispus Addicts. It wasn't Addicts like I'm addicted to something. Crispus Addicts was the first man who died in the uh, uh, Revolutionary War in oh. Boston. Oh, hey, look yeah. at that. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. A black hero. Tips and teeth. Which, which, by the way, uh, uh, made it just in time for Black History Month. We can shout out Crispus Addicts. <laughs> shout out. Hey, salute. Addicts. Salute to Crispus Addicts. There you go. Mm. Proud graduate. Proud graduate of Addicts Middle School. And then I went to South Plantation High School. Yeah. Which just really but, tops but, off. Tops off. Tops the, it off. The perfect... Uh, uh florida Amen. florida school names in my the, in my resume you know what florida school i went to what whispering pines elementary much better yeah Whis much better whispering pines much better it's like yeah the the um the best deerfield had to offer though nowadays i'm sure they've got a lot more it Probably. was great though the seminoles came we got to like dance around put on some headdresses it was amazing yeah, no, that was that was right by the Seminole uh, uh, area. Deerfield's great too. I freaking love Deerfield. I have great memories of Quiet Waters. Yeah, you know? Quiet Waters Park. Yeah, yeah. I did Quiet Waters Park have a have a water slide when you were there? They did, and I loved it because Quiet Waters and CB Smith Park had water slides. They, I heard they changed the name recently, but I don't, I have not like verified of Quiet this. Waters. I have not verified this. To what? I don't know. I was on Google Maps and I was All trying right. to look for a thing. It's not worth it right now. No, it's, no, 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 no. We're on our mutual we're... childhood saga. People did not tune into this to find out what is the name of some esoteric park in some state that I don't even live in. And even if I do live in it, I'm probably somewhere cool like Naples and not. Darren. Yeah. I got great news for you. Please. Quiet Waters Park still stands. Oh, thank God. All right, cool. Well, that, that makes sense. And me... so does Splash Adventure. Uh, Splash amen. Adventure. Amen. The, the, the greatest, yeah, that's that's what it looked like. Yep. The best thing about that park was the, um, the jet, or not jet skiing. What, what is that when you hold on to, they had a rail. It would go around the entire park. Oh, yeah. Just like hold, imagine, okay. For those of you who ski, oh, Condor Post says whispering bite sounds like a rehab. <laughs> They're not wrong. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, It'd be uh, funny. You're just fucking, you're just yeah. ripping sick. You're, you're like, like, hey. Uh, yeah. Anyway, nine months at risk, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 30 days at whispering oh, fines. Yeah. And uh, Never I, I came out clean. I mean, I don't know. I was going to go to the second grade, but then I was like, yeah, everything they were saying at Dare seemed kind of trite. So then I just <laughs> decided to like smoke this entire carton, and but it was tax free. I got, I got it from the reservation. It's cool. By the way, I got sucked into the Reddit forum older millennials, just yeah. because it's all people up talking about shit that we grew up with. Amen. And so it's like it's like like they're just supposed to be like, a, a, a fucking and Polly Shore clip, and course. I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I'm yeah, in. Yeah. But there was a commentary about Dare. And I was like, yeah, I thought that like was people, people are like, oh, like, like they're you know dunking I mean? on Dare. And I'm like, wait a minute. Dare was the greatest. Number one, yeah. that logo still fucking good. It's if you, very good. Like it's without good. a doubt, awesome fucking logo. Mm -hmm. Number two, everyone's like, yeah, but I did drugs. And it's like, yeah, asshole. Where yeah, do you think duh. you learned about it? Duh. Dare. Yeah. They came into your school. And but you like, didn't start anyway. with crystal meth. They told you about the gateways. And well, no, they explained everything. They were like, anyway, weed. Eh, you know, you kind of get a little sleepy, but it's mostly a dreamlike thing. Yeah. Meth, you get really excited, but it, it really tapers off. It was like the best drug dealer ever. They 
didn't mince words. And I thought that they were authoritative because it was like cops. And you can imagine like, who were these cops that got that, you know, like uh, um, the sergeant's like, uh, excuse me, like uh, uh, agent uh, young, I'm going to need you to go down to this elementary school. I know it's going to sound like I'm sending you to a, uh, to uh, a rehab clinic, but actually <laughs> I need you to go down to whispering pines. Yeah. Elementary, and I need you to tell the kids about the crystal meth. Um, but here is a plushy bear to do it with, and they're gonna love it. Man. Go to the trailer; it's on the back because it's past the gymnasium. The school I'm actually have for it. I, I don't know. Do they still do dare? So this is the thing. You said it, and immediately I'm like, one. How has this not always been a thing, even before we were around? And yeah. two, how is it not a thing forever and ever and ever? Because it, it's got staying power. I feel like. Come on. Do you remember the song? Oh, yeah. Dare. Dare. To keep it was a kid to off us drugs. By Barbara Bush. Dare. And the war on drugs is important for the voters. <laughs> what? How did it go? The there way- was a song? Yeah, 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 yeah. For real? It was like, like, dare to keep a kid off drugs. There. Oh my God. I literally think in second grade, we were hoodwinked. Did you have to sing it? Into singing it. And our teacher recorded it and then like layered it with their little four track, four track on a, a, a Roland synthesizer. It might have been a Yamaha. Uh, and they, it was so, it was bad. It was like four on the floor. But they put together a like cringy, you know, children singing. Uh, dare rendition to synth and i yes. repressed that memory until you say it oh, i don't so i don't bad. know if this was for everybody we had to do this in second grade by then i'd moved to virginia and the wall had fallen so things got All a right, little this is different old old dare song on yeah. youtube we will play play this for you as soon as they stop advertising quickbooks and you get what looks premium? to be McCain, make it a Friday. You're not. Well, it's definitely got that like 808, four on the floor. Oh my God. Like Miami Sand Machine, beat your heart out. This is so, like, Top Gun. Rod Move over. Stewart. Move over, Kenny Loggins. Yep. Somebody else is going to get oiled up and play volleyball. Actually, you know what? You know the vibes I'm really getting? What's that? I'm getting a, uh, um, oh, God, what's her name? All right, wait, hold on. I just want to see if this. You need a hero. I, I, I want to see Bonnie Tyler. Thank you. No. No, 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 no. It went from Bonnie Tyler to like a cracker barrel. Ad. All right, here we go. Here we go. Keep a kid off drugs. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh, to keep a kid off dope. Oh! No, this is not what we sang in second grade. Thank God. Ours I'll tell you honestly what. Honestly, better. I'll tell you what. It's a bop. It's look. It's a bop. Laura. Laura was it? Laura. Barbara? Laura. Barbara. Barbara. Laura was the other one. Oh, so. Laura was Laura was the son's wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, did a lot of good stuff. Barbara Bush. Yeah. Yeah. She but, was charming. She was really, really popular. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember those times vividly, you know. Um uh people are saying that the dare did go away. You know, Ashley and I were talking about this about like uh, children's psychology. Then how do they know about the dope as she so to eloquently keep a kid off dope sang? Yeah. Yeah, how These do kids they know? are just on dope. Are they, they are, are they gonna like learn about dope on TikTok? Uh, uh, we, Ashley and I were talking about psychology in general, but ch- children's yeah, psychology specifically yeah. that like, as soon as you like kids are like, you, you know, those, uh, uh, Dali things where it's like, 
uh, give me a man without a mustache <laughs> and it will just keep giving you a man with a mustache. Yeah. It's because the LLM is kind of like a children's mind, a it, child's mind. It doesn't see without. No, no it doesn't. It, all it says is like the strongest correlations are to the words yeah. that it has the biggest relationship. We're, to. It's going to change language because we're no longer going to speak to each other with those kinds of words. We're going to say chicken nuggets, barbecue sauce, lettuce well in a lot of ways it actually i think will create better language because you'll be clearer instead of saying a man without a mustache mm. you'll say a clean shaven man because mm. that's what oh. that's what will give you a better a better result yeah, right that's but in this case it's like dare to keep a kid off drugs all you see is kids and drugs <laughs> <laughs> you're just like i'm a kid yeah. Where can I get, some, I drugs? get some drugs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dare me to get some? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll dare yeah. you. I mean, it's uh, that's a shame that they ended that program because one, I'm sure that provided uh, a job, you know, for many administrators. Like, oh, I'm managing the dare program. for all for all the dumb shit we spend like public money on. Yeah, why not there? Why not there? Was at least it was cool. It, it, it let kids know what drugs were. Like, also, it gave me my nickname. Like in high school, like uh, I would get called by w whatever sweetheart was trying to woo me. I would get called Dare Bear, Dare Bear, Dare Bear. Look at that right, and I yeah. and like I like hated it. You know what I'm saying? Hey babe, don't oh, call no. me that. Oh, no, no. It was better than like my hacker. Give friends. me my Virginia Slim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so my my uh, my hacker friends would riff on my. Uh, my handle yeah which was ard wolf and we'd be playing like land parties uh playing cs back yeah. before uh back before steam you know back cs like beta yeah and then like yeah like, hey ard wolf i mean well am i allowed to say it on the program sure yeah re <laughs> oh <laughs> Tar Tard Tard Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. There you go. You were yeah. Tard Wolf. Yeah. yeah. Tard Wolf. Right. Tard Wolf. Tard Wolf. Yeah. I don't know. Shane, Shane, Shane Gillis said it on uh, SNL this week. Tard Wolf? Is it Tard Wolf? Well, he said the word. Tard Wolf again. Yeah. Because I feel like Re is really just saying again. again. Yeah. 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 But he said it in a way that was like in context. Rehabilitate is just rehabilitate again. Habilitate. That's habilitate. what we should say. We should just say. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, and I like you're it just better. saying tarded, tarded. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Exactly. You say it twice. It sounds like Little it's Caesars. Simple. Oh, <laughs> it should be called tiny, Free tiny, Pizza. Tiny, tiny. Free Pizza. <laughs> yeah, Free Pizza. <laughs> oh man, I love that five dollar, uh, see Little Caesars pizza. Hot and ready. Hot and ready. That's what I. A friend I got, of mine. I got a right, here, here. We're, we're getting we're getting way into fucking. Uh, 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 we have uh, veered older, so older, far older millennial socks. shit. But we no, have veered, no, we, yeah, we need no, to no, no, no. Let me let me let me This is a close loop. This is a close loop. It's a close loop. Back in the era of aim away messages, the 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 original tweets, right? A friend of mine had one of hers was hot and ready. Like a, a Little Caesars pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. And I was like, "Are you just trying to fuck like everybody?" <laughs> and she's like, "What do you mean?" I just thought it was fun that like, oh, like I'm I'm like yeah, ready yeah. and yeah. and I'm I'm sexy. I'm like, that's like among the sluttiest things <laughs> I've ever seen. It's pretty somebody good. somebody no, put out you there. know what you know like what? you are saying I will fuck you. I can if see. you write I'm hot and ready like a a, a Little Caesars pizza. In your away message One, in 2007, mm, you're open for fucking business. I can see it going a thousand percent in this direction, and I can also see it being so like naivete, like a hundred percent. Like I can just see it being like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Like, like for that person, but also what an away message. That's good. No, I mean, and by, and for the record, I think she was trying to make like three specific men very annoyed because they were <laughs> her exes that were still friends and they See, were like, you couldn't like, do that now with X or Twitter or whatever. You don't have an away message. You don't have the passive aggressive. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to respond to your call, but my answering machine is saying, <laughs> uh, go get screwed because I am studying uh, 19th century you know, whatever it is, yeah. like, but, but it means something to that one uh, person. Uh, I see you in the chat. Uh, uh, AST. 
age sex toppings. I, mean, <laughs> I thought it was ASL. What is T? Like, no, that's the joke. Toppings. toppings. You're replacing location for toppings. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, uh, so when you slipped them into your sneakers, tell me this. Yes. Did it feel like you were like snooping into like a dinner party or yes. some sort of, did you feel like you were like, Hey, you know what? I'm gonna crash this wedding reception. I, I, I felt I'm like a- I was cheating. Yeah. I felt like I was cheating. Cause I'm like, these shouldn't be in a comfortable shoe, but that's because I hate, I You're like, hate, hate, hate dress shoes to this day. I hate dress shoes. And, and I am lucky uh, that men's fashion. That's not a thing. I'm sorry. What you're describing is not like a, Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, sure. Men sure, sure. hate men's dress shoes, yeah, but we wear them because we have but to. Now I, but you took men's dress shoes accoutrement. Well, let let, let, let which, me just say th- this is where I am still today. Yeah. As soon as I realized that men's fashion, especially because we are at a certain age, yeah, where I can just buy very expensive sneakers and yeah. people know very expensive sneakers yeah. enough. To know yeah. that they're not cheap sneakers. Three hundred ninety nine dollar gold Trump sneakers. I mean, nine, shipping in nine, April. Yeah, nine k. If you nine, actually uh, over, uh, oh no, uh, they already on the black market. Somebody bought a pair of the gold, yeah, the gold Trump kicks for nine k. Nine. Wait, 9K. they were only three thousand dollars. I uh, these were uh, probably like the first one or something like that. Uh, like, yeah, I, I, that's upsetting because that doesn't help his campaign. Sorry, the nine k. That's an aftermarket. That's. You're you're that concerned about the Trump campaign's cash flow? I'm not concerned about the Trump campaign's cash flow. I just feel yeah. like on an economic level, like on a free market capitalism level, like it's kind of messed up that like, you know, the purveyor of these amazing sneakers do not receive the benefits of the like scarcity. No, I know. I, I think they no, they you went know? to the Trump campaign. I think that they they auctioned oh, good. off. Good, good, good. I, I think it was an auction. It was like we well, needs it all because he, he like 355 million on the most recent uh, uh court order and they're asking for um oh no it's more than that with interest yeah yeah that's it's the like, thing is they're like asking for interest so, like yeah. you ever you ever loan your buddy some money and then you're like oh you know anyway so like here's a sprinter van and also like uh, some interest on it you know like like who does that we don't do that so what where's the court order to be like and we want some interest on the thing we're finding you. You're like, I didn't know I was owing this. And it, it was a weird, lot. It was a, a lot of money. It's a lot. I'm not a lot look, of money. I'm the last person. To you are. You are the last person. But I look at it as like, wait a Derek second. Hey, hang, spent, man, Derek hang. Hitchens spent the pandemic dealing with lockdown by panic donating <laughs> to anything against Donald and Trump. And I will never take that check back. Okay, I'm screwing Have that. Have you ever said for- that? Have you ever said that yes. publicly? Uh, no, I've never. Okay, yeah, Darren, well, well, Darren, Darren. There's uh, a big difference between Act Blue and giving to a super PAC. But go on, go on, go on, go on. You explain it. All right, Darren. But then we're going back to the socks. We're going that's back. What, what I, people I feel like we've tuned in for. Socks. I feel like we've covered the socks. Uh, Darren spent the lockdown, as many of us did, traumatized. Mm. Traumatized. Me too. I yeah. was traumatized during the lockdown. We were we we were uh, we hanging out. Something else, but uh, you know, you you were uh, 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 as as we all were, you know, having a few. Yep. And uh, uh, at a certain point during the evening, our friend Darren Kitchen would uh, turn I, on turn on the TV, yeah. see some horrifying things, and Dear say, God. "How can I change this?" Cable news, it'll do that. And uh, uh, through through blurred vision. Get on that act blue, start tip, 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 and donate, donate, donate. And then at a certain point, he did not realize that accumulation had violated federal law because he was over donating. You did you did not try, but you had donated more than we were federally allowed to to the official Biden campaign. This is McCain Fine Gold. The yeah. laws that were passed back in the odds, which is which is so ridiculous because like it's so easy to sidestep those. But, you know, I'm glad that they like tried in spirit to like put a cap on this, you know, if they actually did. And no, if, that, like, was, corporations that was that was were not people and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, that, 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 that was different. that was McCain Feingold. McCain yeah. Feingold put those limits on. And this is probably the last time we're ever going to see ca- campaign finance reform ever in and, our lifetime you know guess what? whatever it fucking didn't work it didn't then, do anything it because yeah, it wouldn't work in the now. same way that i'm going to put a caterpillar drive on my sailing dinghy 
yes to be to get away from some weird regulations uh and also you know reinvent nuclear power yeah uh that's just what texas is forcing me to do yes that is the equivalent and it's just we all just get along with it because at the end of the day and also you weren't keeping track and you were largely doing it at the end of the night when you were a few yeah <laughs> they <laughs> really should have done you, the, like you, 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 you know not get the captcha where they're like um uh you sure you're a human? Like, click up. Why don't you click all the school buses? And you're like, all right, all right. No. Like, no, here's this jarbled mess. Uh, spell it for me. Is it G-H-R-Q-M-B? And you're like, okay, okay, okay. And then it's like, all right. So here's like four X's. Which one do you want to text? <laughs> and by the way, they're all the wrong answer. Yeah, exactly. It's a trick question. Yeah, and by the way, here's another thing that Act Blue doesn't do. Yeah. Say, you've already donated X amount. <laughs> exactly. They're just like, hey, this is a frictionless environment for yeah. money. Yeah. Like, like, would you like to throw money down the chute? Congratulations. I, they should cure it evil. Why are they not now? Why are they not integrated with Venmo? Because as we know. Like Venmo you an is easy, not not real real money not real money not real money. I should get on Act Blue uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'll set up my own super pack. Uh, 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 you got a refund check. Yep. From Thanks, the Biden Joe. campaign. Yep. Uh, uh, we don't we don't need to say for how much. It's uh, a stupid amount. It's a lot of money. Yeah. And uh, you Clicked refuse too many times. You you refuse Still to, to this day. cash it. Yeah. Because it's way cooler to have a check from the Biden 2020 campaign than it is to have that money. It's kind of, I mean, honestly, okay. There are two checks in my lifetime that I'm proud of owning. One of them is from bell Atlantic, which was a, uh, Arbok or a regional bell operating carrier. Yeah. Uh, in the 1960s, Congress passed laws that basically broke up what was then referred to Ma as Ma bell. bell. Yeah. Yeah. AT&T had to like with fracture communication. Exactly. And so we ended up with Pacific bell and GTE yeah. and all these others. And so I own a, uh, a, a check with a routing and account number, all that jazz for 25 cents from Bell Atlantic because I fraudulently, uh, uh, and statutes of limitations. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah, a phone yeah, freak yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day. And uh -huh. let's insert phone freakism here. Yeah. Right. Um, and I'm like, I'm proud of that because that's what a phone call cost back then 25 yeah. cents. Right. Yeah. Uh, the other big check that I'm, you so know, for significantly more, more than 25 it's cents. It's not even that much. It's a couple of hundos or or more. Yeah. And, and or more. Or or more. <laughs> and I'm and I'm grateful for it. Also, can we just roll it over? Like roll it over. You're gonna you're gonna run again, you know? And if he doesn't win, come this on, time, Jack. Hey, roll it over. Roll it over, Jack. And if it doesn't win this time, he can he can always run again. He can always run in 2028, right? right. I mean, hey, Biden 2028. That that doesn't sound weird. Nope. At, how old would he be? He would. He's eighty one now. Yeah, eighty uh, <clears throat> eighty. Wonderful. So he would be eighty five at the end of his second term. Or there you go. if he started running again for yeah. <laughs> for, for twenty eight, would he, it be? He would be. He would start running at eighty. 84. 84. Okay. And then, and then when would he finish his term? He would finish his term at 89. 89. Yeah. Oh, but there would be a moment where he was 88. He would. Yeah. yeah. There would be a moment where he was 88. And that's the speed limit of uh, Destiny. Yep. Yeah. Uh, bringing uh, it back to Fort Lauderdale. And uh, there know. we go. Yeah. yeah. Was that Fort Lauderdale? There's a Sears parking lot. Huh? 88. Miles an hour. Oh, yeah. No, Twin Pines Mall. Twin Pines? Yeah. Oh, no, because then they hit the tree, and it's just the Lone Pine Mall. Amen. When they come oh, back. Oh, yeah. that's cute. Yeah. yeah. Little Easter egg. That's good. I, I love it. I'm here for it. Yeah. Yeah. So these socks, you slip them God in the sneakers. Damn it, you in the fucking And you socks. just be like, you are just like sliding I'm a fancy. Like, I'm a fancy man. You are fancy a fancy shit. man, yeah. but I'm here for it. I just didn't know that you had this moment in life where you had decided that like Haynes or fruit of the loom wasn't good enough you needed to go highbrow and 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 well i mean and by the way buy I, these I, I, highbrow bulk, right no okay i no. bought i bought like a four pack from uh uh wherever i was buying socks at the time but yeah. like yeah no i i didn't do any research i wasn't like a sock connoisseur i was probably at the you place where i thing that felt good i was at i was at wherever i was buying socks and i'm like oh like, what if I were dress socks, man? Oh, man. 
and then and then i realized very quickly especially in new york city summers which are extraordinarily fucking sweaty yeah i was like that's not a this is terrible yeah well wait did you have a standard hang on before you dabbled yeah with dress sock what was your go-to oh just regular ass regular ass like yeah crew crew cut ankle i've always been a a a whatever whatever this is yeah that's that's i would say that's a crew cut yeah 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 i've always been a low i've never i've never been like you don't want to show gym 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 teacher full calf no no like big high high you got to get the double uh well and and, 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 and and i don't like the larger one than that because then it always just droops eventually you're not I, a man I like that it. wears I like boots. It. Yeah. You don't wear boots. I don't wear boots. You moved to Texas. I'm a Florida you man. You still don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. I got a, I got a nice pair of boots. And man, every time I put uh, I, I prefer feet not to wear socks, to be totally honest with you. Oh. I prefer like to a, be in sandals. You wear Toms? What do you wear? I mean, I I it you know, if, if I had my druthers, yeah, it would just be sandals. Just, oh, wait, now in fact, I'll tell you what kind of sandals. So I got made fun of this last time Please. I was in Florida because I had sandals that were uh, uh, the thing. Yeah. Over. Goes, oh, you didn't wear thongs. I didn't wear thongs. You know what a thong is? The, with, with the thing the Aust- in, in between in between the. Uh, yeah, the, the Australians coming back to the, the facts yeah. of it all. But like the, the Australians, they call them thongs because. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's, it goes it's, between. It goes between. And it's like you end up with a. Thong, 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 thong. It's not a camel toe, but your toe is getting. Well, there's tortured. a whale tail. There's, there's a, whale a whale tail. tail. Like, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's Miss Piggy and all the other piggies. No, I was wearing because I got sandals that were better for walking because I yeah. like to do my walking. Flippy floppies. Uh, and though, and and uh, uh, the thong sandals or uh, flip flops. Yeah, are not great. I, I've not found they will great destroy your feet. Your feet. Yeah. You're, if, you're, if you if you walk for a long time, the the I don't know if it's like what is the weenus equivalent of that area of skin between <laughs> the big, big, big toe and the like index toe. Yeah. You know whatever that is. Whatever it is, will bleed if you're not used to it. If you're not, no, you, people no. people get used to it. They like they, you got to go through a blister period. It's like learning the guitar. No, you want to know what? I got these uh, flip-flops, again, during the pandemic, that were, like, extraordinarily soft Mm -hmm. that were recommended to me, but I tried to walk, like, my 10-mile walks with them. Please. And it fucked up my feet. Oh, and then you're screwed for an entire season. It was not great. You were you were going to compete, and now, like, Anna Kornikova is laughing at you. I'm fucked for nationals. Totally. And so uh, uh, I got these other shoes that were solid, and, and they were better for walking. And I go back home to South Florida and I got all my friends. I'm wearing these things and they're like, the fuck, dude? Yeah. Open, open really? toes. Open toe. Open toes. Ugh. Open toes. Yeah. Like what Adidas. The you, what the fuck you been up to, they got, my hey, guy? Hey, these things have Velcro on them. Yeah. Are you like Rain Man? I know. Did I'm, they call you? No. Uh, 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 they the they fucking li- like legitimately made fun did of they, me. Did they say, are you tarted, tarted? <laughs> are your feet? The left foot tarted, the right foot tarted? Is that what they said? Because that feels like tarted, what they tarted. said. Tarted, <laughs> tarted. <laughs> well, we're going to get a medium uh, thin slice with uh, extra pepperoni. It's hot and ready, just like your girlfriend on AIM. I know. I know. Oh, I know. Man. Well, no, got I, got, I, got, I got shamed. I got Florida man shamed. Amen, brother. See, I show up as a tourist, and I'm going to tell, just this is between, like, between you and me, no, no one's you, listening. Just hit, hit, the, hit the thing. Brian's the black magic. Brian's no, Brian's. No, hit the button on the black magic. I know you got the button. Okay, yeah. No, hit the the black Boop. one. No, no, hit the bu- the one on the right that says like FTB, FTB in the very bottom right. Okay, bottom right. They they okay. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Just between you and me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't. I can't do those thongs. You can't. I'm not. No, Cisco. He, you know Cisco. Uh huh. He's like the man. He's like. No, no, no. Yeah, right, right. But I'm like, I tried it. Maybe it'd be gone. Yeah. Maybe it would go. Yeah. And my defense is always like, wasn't me. But uh different guy. Two of them should get together. I just Shaggy. feel like that'd be Shaggy that, and Cisco. Amen. That'd be a that'd yeah. be a jam. But can't do it. Can't do it. It's like because the, for the same reason, it's it's too flippy and it's too floppy. So you know what I do? What? 
the big old thing over my foot. The yeah. big old. That's what I do. You know? Yeah. yeah. Keeps it in there. Keeps it in there. Although, but like, don't tell them. I, I only. Yeah, between us. Are we ready, between, yeah. no, are we ready no, to go back on? I don't know. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. We're, and we're back. Uh, I will still, if I'm just at the beach. Yeah. I'm just like on the boat. Sure. I'll rock a regular thong flip. Oh, that's good for like a quarter mile. But I'm not walking with it. I'll flippy floppy my way through the whatever the oh no shoots no no shirts no shoes no, no service. service yeah I will rock a thong just to no like shits. get my hey no no <laughs> right? no right no shawls no, yeah. no service <laughs> yeah and you must shit on the floor oh. and wear a shawl or else we will not serve you wow that's, yeah that's next level yeah I'm just saying I will put them on to get thanks a Biden yeah amen thank you Obama. Um, it used to be yeah but no shoes no shirt no service and now in joe biden's america it's no shits no shows no service shame great shame used to be a country now we're not now we're not sadly we are not I want more of that. You want more of that? You you, you want to get that on PX3 if I'm a patron? You, you, of course you do. Oh, no. you want to know a thing that legit he yeah. does say? Who, uh, what Trump? What does he say? I've been indicted more times than Alphonse Capone. <laughs> Alphonse, wait, wait. Does he mean like real? Fonzie? Does he mean wait, wait, wait? Is he making a Fonzie reference? No, he's just saying Al Capone, but he's saying it. He's in, saying in, Al. Oh, he's saying Al Capone. But that, yeah, that's that's uh, uh yeah. Oh, go, go back, go back. I'll give it. I'll give it a little love. There we go. And hey, Golden. Um, is he? Is this a? Yeah. Is this? He's he's jumping. No, the he's shark? just making a joke about Al Capone. Okay. He's saying that like I've been indicted more than Al Capone. Yeah. But he goes. Throws in the little Alphonse Capone. That's not a thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right, I love was, it. Was, was, was Al Capone really Alphonse Capone? I have no idea. You know idea. what? I, I would imagine. He got a big laugh in, hey. in 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 the rally. Well, I mean, what doesn't? But like, I feel like that's one of those things where we just need the meme of like, ah, uh, Fonzie jumped the shark. The whole situation. Oh no, no. People are saying that Al Capone did only get indicted once, so he has been indicted more than Alphonse Capone. Well truth you know uh um, social is it dot social <laughs> did he actually get dot social i don't know is it truth dot social because that's a good domain name you know because that's only five characters no no T-R-U-T-H. truth social.com uh, although let's let's try it i don't know truth dot nope, social nope. truth dot social scams? yep it no wow. it, it goes All there right. back when i'm damn i should very be. hot that's what he said about truth social yeah you know i don't know if that's true well i don't know if it's very hot I, your laptop seems like it's chugging along, but mostly because it's running the stream. So I don't know if I would attribute Apparently, it. Apparently, Alphonse Gabriel Capone was his name. You're kidding me, Al. Yeah. Well, I, if I if that was my name, I would probably go as Al Capone as well. Yeah, yeah. And you can call me I, Eddie. Amen. So and Eddie, when you call me, ah, you can call me Al. Oh, no. <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Justin. Yeah. Bring it on into the station. The the very first time to the very last time uh-huh. you slipped them in to those sneaks, you know? And you're like, these, <laughs> these thin, silky, smooth, buttery, I am just, I am just here to <laughs> steal. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm just cheating because oh all these other, God. All these almost, other hoes are wearing Adidas socks. I almost spit take all over this fucking studio. Yeah, you did. Like, like literally, Jen, Jen Brody would have come in tomorrow and been like, why does it smell like beer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, but between the first time you slipped them in and the last, yeah. what changed? What changed? Why'd you stop, bro? Why'd you stop? Because I got... I got two major thoughts on give me, it. Give me your theories, and then I'll confirm or deny. Okay. My first one is really on a comfort scale yeah. of like, hey, don't knock it. You know, of like whatever feels good to you, it, what you do with your own sock and your own time is yeah. your business. You know, I'm not here to judge. 
However, you decided to quit. Yeah. And so clearly there is something that's not working out. And I feel like this could be something where you could save a lot of people time. There's a lot of listeners and viewers of this show. Yeah. And you could extol to them your virtues of uh, Sockdom, you know, the, the kicks, as the kids call it, <laughs> and how the buttery smooth is maybe uh, more than it's cracked up to be. And we yeah. don't even know if you've double dipped. We don't know if you've double bagged. We don't know how much you've layered up to make it work because yeah. of the thickness or thinness. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, you said, this is enough. I'm going to go back I'm to, I'm out. I'm going to, and I'm looking at them. The regular, by the way, to the viewing audience, the regular ass black nothing. Okay. Although I, I do still and like black this, socks. I, I do still like I, I I I do not like white socks. I go I go full black socks. Full black socks. I full fight. black I fought I fought. <laughs> and 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 that's actually kind of damn, you just jumped ahead to literally where I was trying to go, Justin, which is yeah. to say this is just the setup to yeah. understand the sock logistics of your life yes color <laughs> kind and combination so yeah. so give me the last little bit of your silky smooth foray into slipping it yeah. into the designer sneak of your choice well they were they were certainly not designer sneaks they were definitely early 20s uh, uh who gives a shit whatever's uh, uh that i was wearing uh, I, I I did. I, I've never been a sneakerhead, so I it was uh, dress socks into who gives a shit like Puma or Adidas, like oh, like like you were well, a Puma slot, whatever, whatever it was. I, I don't even want to. Uh, this, uh, this kid was an ex skater boy. No, absolutely, he was, he was not. a see you later boy. Although it, it might have been uh, Skechers, Skechers were, were, were there for a minute anyway. Uh, I think the moment was the moment that I swore off them. There are times in New York City where in the winter, people are pissing everywhere constantly, right? Clearly. In New York City. Yeah. And so in the winter, it doesn't smell so bad because it's frozen. Amen. And then it gets a little hotter and it smells a little like a bit popsicle. more like piss, it's like a piss right? popsicle. Yeah. And then there's, it starts to get hot and there's that first like big summer rain, Ooh, like yeah. a big gigantic summer rain. And here's what happens. And anyone who's lived in New York city will be able to fucking attest to this a hundred percent. That first big summer rain activates about six months Mm. worth of piss oh my god yeah and so you're waiting in line for a subway train it is i'm in my early 20s I, i'm 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 making fucking no money uh, uh i'm standing in line i'm smelling piss yeah and i'm sweating like a hooker in church and i'm sweating into these socks and my feet are oh. fucking crinkling together yep. because because the socks are just going like you got that. I've been in the pool too long. Exactly, Musk. And so that was the moment where I'm like, look, Prune. there's a lot of this that I can't control. Yeah, I can't control the people pee all over the city. I nope. can't control that it's hot. I nope. can't control that it rained. I can't control that the lines for the subway are long. I can control one thing. Mm. Change your fucking socks. Wow, you took it. You took <laughs> Change a, your fucking socks. Your own hands. You decide, man, that's brutal. Yeah. What an awakening that you went yeah. through that entire season where you're like, up until then, it was just this like Disneyland adventure of like, I can outwit the system and like have these. I can be an eccentric, buttery, an excited yeah, eccentric. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm proud of you for doing that, by the Thank way. Thank you. I feel like that's like bold. That is I that is something that. that is an example of the kind of thing that an early 20 something would do because they don't have the life experience to realize kind of more of the practical limitations of society. And you went there anyway and you said, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to forge my own path. This feels good for me. And I'm just going to I'm here to feel good. Yeah. And that's great. Yeah, like well, no, pioneer. no, I, I, I took, I, I took a meaningful step forward. Yeah, in making myself feel better. 
Uh, no pun intended. I love it. I there love it. Go. Now, how many pairs do you have? Dress socks? Yeah. <sighs> I would say probably four. Yeah. Four or five. It's not enough pair, if you ask me. Because were they all the same? Yes, they were all black socks. Okay, okay. No, were they all black socks or literally the same model? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. no, no, no. no. Yeah. I, I, you were smart I, enough. I, I, I do not believe that I bought. Wait, you're, probably... wearing, you're wearing black socks right now, man. Yeah. What do you, what, what, where did these come from? Uh, are they, Target? Are they probably. always? Hey, no, 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 no. Do you always wear black? We, we hang out enough that I yeah. should have probably figured this always out. Black. Now. You, always black. Always socks. black. Always black. Always, always black. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no, this is, a many... Brian, this is a Brian tip to be totally honest with you. Okay. He, he said at a certain point, if you yep. have a lot of different socks, yeah. Throw them all away. Throw them all away. Just buy one pair one of socks. Pair. Uh, yeah. Oh my a God. Shit ton of one pair of Are socks. you telling me? Yeah. In a really weird meta way. Yeah. That the, 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 the great night journey I have taken you on for this entire evening yeah. has been leading to a yeah. piece of advice that I was hoping to bestow upon you nope. that has already been bestowed upon you Facts. by none other than, than the Brian Brian Brushwood. Brushwood. Yeah. Well, he should have just force ghosted his ass into this seat. I know. Instead of a lot of time. Or done his own fucking show. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'll send you the invoice in the morning, but uh, I'm just saying I'm I here mean, for the I'm here for the socks. I mean, he could have done his own yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I subscribe to this philosophy, and we I love you. More Brian. people should. More be and you know, I love you. Everyone, you are allowed to have choice yes. when it comes to your sock. You're saying pleasure. you're pro-choice. I am pro-choice of okay. sock pleasure, but let me limit it. Let me just explain to you where this choice should begin and end. Okay. You get your black socks, uh, yeah, especially with the copper thread because it's antimicrobial, and you get your gray socks. None, nobody wants a white sock, right? Yeah. Then, never mate them. Never holy matrimony those guys after the dryer. Don't spend your time wrapping them in a thing. Yeah. Just throw them in the drawer in the sock drawer, and you and I will guarantee you something. Oh wait! So scientifically, you don't, you don't ever put them together. Never. Why? You just put single Why? socks. Why? Why? Right Why? now. Why? I'm always. I'm, Why right now, would you put them in there two at a time? <laughs> you I, might as well just put them in there all together. Amen. Because I have that said that way. If there's a single sock, you'll never know. You'll never know. So if it's always a single sock, right? If you just standardize on black, amen. God bless you. Yeah. You reach in. You grab a sock. You reach in again, you grab a sock. I guarantee you 100% they match. Yeah. But you know what? I've lived in worlds where <laughs> only having black socks doesn't always work. Really? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you need a little variation. Sometimes it needs to be gray. Sometimes it needs to be calf height because you're wearing motorcycle boots. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. You are you are far more of a rugged man than I am. I've thank you. You are. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm. You I'm should, a, you should come camping with us. I'm a foppish dandy. Like like you. You are somebody that does enjoy like nature. I don't really like it. I I I, I think I have recognized how nature enjoys me, and I'm there to provide, and it's a service that I'm willing to. Amen. Amen. But but hearing that you are a foppish dandy, which we've yeah. all known, we, of like, course. But yeah, hearing yeah, it from yeah. the yeah. horse's mouth, part of, part of my charm, yeah, yeah, uh, it, it's gratifying. Gratifying. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I you're, just you're, wanna, you are. You are more rugged than I am. I just want to bestow this tip upon our viewing yeah. audience because I'm little Lord Tiny Pants. I well, I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. I just I just think that you have uh, more. I don't know how to say. Um, you appreciate the je ne sais quoi of the city. I you, do. You do. You, um, I, I, I am an urban Brian. hiker. You, oh, that's, is that a thing? Are we calling that something? Now? I never, no, I've heard, I, I've heard people say that. You walked down the sidewalk? Well, I do walk 
I like distances that people would normally say. Like people will be like, oh, like I, yeah. I just went on like a five mile hike, and I'm like, that's like bullshit. That's like like dumb shit that I do. Just well, I like randomly. that in the redwoods, you know. Like, yeah, exactly. Some redwoods, but it's like, down. but it's like I like to do that in the city, usually while drinking. Oh, oh, fair, fair. And I you know, and, but, but I don't, to, but I don't, but I don't know what to call that. Ah, uh, you know what? I feel like there's a time and a place because if I were okay, transport me to the Oakland Redwoods, and I'm strolling along mm -hmm. through this beautiful sequoia, overlooking like these huge vista from the hills of like the entire Golden Gate Bridge, kind of you know S San Francisco Bay area. But I'm holding the forty. Yeah, I'm kind of. I don't even want to say that guy. I'm really out of place. Like, cause I got granola crunchies passing me on my left and my right. No, Cause they're all going to look at your glass and they're going to like, excuse me, where is that going to go? Like, yeah. Like, why is that not kombucha? Hey, yeah, I mean, and, okay. But if we now, but, but, but it's weird same, because if you, but if you're on like a yeah. hundred milligram edible, everyone's high-fiving you. Amen. As they Every, should. Everyone's like, yep. yeah, man. Awesome. Great. Awesome. Mm. Great. If you have a flash, a time and a maybe place. even a little like uh, if you have a little little little, uh, little, uh, little, little nipperoo, uh -huh. people will be like, like, oh man, okay, cool. But if you have a 40, you are getting crossed. You are, you are. And I feel like that's a shame because we should be much more judgmental with our nature and allow everyone to enjoy it the way the, the way they see fit. It's just like boring. I mean, I've got opinions about I thirty five and the whole you know Mopac area, but that that, that yeah, but I like it. that. That's cool. Man yeah. made that. All the rest of this shit is fucking algae. Cool. <laughs> we can we can <laughs> we can agree that lots of things in life like at cool. some point a human said like. I, I'm gonna invent concrete. <laughs> I'm gonna invent cars. I'm gonna invent the the concept of building a society yeah that's like i see i-35 and i see self-confidence mm. i see everything that we value as humans in these highways i look at trees and i'm like they don't give a shit about me well the top i-35 gives a shit about me trees don't give a shit about me why should i give a fuck about trees <laughs> I love the philosophy. I have no idea how to rebuke that. I just love it for like the simplicity of it because you're absolutely right. Somebody thought about you when they developed. I they thought about that. They literally thought about you. They, they were thought like, about it like, oh, uh, how fast should he make a turn? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh, should it should it be oh, at this gradient? It had to go through a bunch of other human committees who were like, like, I don't know, uh, but 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 uh, 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 ipso proviso, I do yeah, believe yeah, that. Yeah. And then everybody had to get paid, and, and there was a bunch of shit. And maybe it was good, maybe it was bad. But the one thing we can all agree on is that a bunch of humans touched it. What does this fucking sequoia got to do with me? Shit. Truth. Shit. It just has the same amount to do with me that mold on my sandwich does. It's just some shit that would exist whether or not I existed. <laughs> it's it's on the I can't rebuke that. Yeah. That is indeed the truth. So I like to walk they're, they're both through cities. Amen. They're, Illegally they're, while I'm having an open container. They're both beautiful. Because at some fun. point I would desperately love with fucking AirPods in my ears to yeah. have be pulled over by a cop and they go, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed to drink that. And I would say, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know I couldn't do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was too busy appreciating. Yeah, too busy appreciating. The, cement, the concept uh, of humanity, <laughs> the very thread that brings us all together, the communal hearth that gathered the Mesopotamians to live until we have our ends of the embers of the flame of life. And also, I want to pee behind an alley. I don't want to pee no, behind I don't a tree. Want, yeah. Yeah. Who, who Although I don't, tree? I do like peeing behind a tree. Yeah, that's I a mean, good tree. Okay. Peeing anywhere is pretty good. Anyway, I, I feel, I feel like we've gotten. To I, I feel like land. we hit it. I, I just do want to say that the the the, the Mesopotamian, the Babylon, they all they all kind of stole it from the Sumerians. They, they the were Sumerians OG. were the OG. They were OG. Yeah. Just want to put out. We would I, like. I appreciate. I would like to correct I'm the record. You, I'd I'm like to correct the record. That that rant should have said the Sumerians, <laughs> not the Mesopotamians, uh, uh, and 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 so there we go. Uh, 
Darren Kitchen. I mean, based on this conversation, should people find you somewhere? God, no, absolutely <laughs> not. If you're looking for, uh, if you want to hijack hack a boat, five, hack five dot org. Yeah, yeah, or or boat hijacking, but hack five dot org is where you can buy hacker yeah. tools. Uh, if you're, if you're a, a member of the Australian Parliament, fuck yeah. hit me up. Or the intelligence agencies, yeah, the Australian intelligence. Yeah, we got some. We yeah. got some fucking issues. With we got Australia. no, no, no. We, we're good. We're good. We're tight. Oh no, 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 no. No, you, no, you no, don't no, know. No, no, no. Oh, we got tighter since since we last spoke. So like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's good. Everything's good. Oh, are you kidding me? Good day, mate. Hey, and GCHQ, I got your number. You know, like, uh, uh, hey, hack toys for everybody. Five eyes only. Five eyes only. Five eyes. Amen. Five God eyes bless. only. Oh. Uh, 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 good. I'm glad. I'm glad everything everything got settled. Anyway, yeah. uh, friends, that's it for great night. Until next time. It's been a great night. It's weird being the guy running it and having no music playing. I should have had these things worked out, but I didn't. And you want to know what? Maybe. That's the point. Till next time, friends. See you later. So if you reach into your sock bin and, you, <laughs> and you've only got, you've standardized on two kinds of pair and you pull twice, there's a 50% chance you won't have a complete pair. But if you pull thrice, 100% guarantee you will get a complete pair. And that's the point. Damn.